All right, let's talk about panning and zooming and rotating our views. This is an important thing to know how to do in Photoshop. So I'm going to open an image here and when Photoshop first opens an image it will try and fit it into the screen for you. So you'll notice by looking down here in, in the corner that we're at 66.67% of the view. Um, so what if I want to zoom in? Well, we have a zoom tool. It's over here in the toolbar, and its shortcut key is Z, as in zebra. So I'm going to press Z for the zoom tool, and you'll notice that the zoom tool has a plus in it. So every time I click, it will zoom in on the area that I click. And each time you click, it goes in a little further until you can actually see the, the pixel grid. Now to zoom out, all you need to do is to hold your Option key on a Mac or your Alt key on a PC, and you'll see that that uh, magnifying glass has a minus in it. And you can click, and each time you click, you zoom out. Another thing that you can do is you can just, while you're in the zoom tool, you can just click and hold the mouse down and it will zoom in at the point that you're looking. And again, if you hold the option key or the alt key on a PC and just click and hold, you will zoom out. You have a thing called Scrubby Zoom. Um, if you if you click and and drag to the left, that will zoom you out when scrub, Scrubby Zoom is turned on in the options bar. And if you scroll your mouse to the right, it will zoom in. Now there are a few keyboard shortcuts that also do the same thing. If you hold your command key or your control key down on a PC and press the minus key, that will zoom you out every time you press. And the opposite, the plus key, will zoom you in. Two important shortcuts will allow you to um, zoom so that the image just exactly fits in the screen and that is command zero on a Mac or control zero on a PC. The other important one is command one or control one allows you to view the image at 100 percent. Right. One other thing is as you want to, if you're zoomed in and you want to scroll around on your image, pressing the space bar, no matter which tool you're in, when you press the space bar, it will turn into the hand tool. And you can just drag the image around. Uh, or you can go to the hand tool itself by pressing the H key. And it does the same thing. You'll notice that if you kind of flick it, that it will it will continue moving even after you let go of the mouse. If you flick it and click the mouse, that will automatically stop it. So there are a few shortcuts for zooming and, and panning. Within the hand tool, you have another tool called the Rotate View tool. And it allows you to rotate the screen. Now you're not actually changing the pixels. You're not transforming the images. You're just rotating the view. This is more helpful when you're trying to paint or draw on, on an image. Pressing Escape will get you back. You'll notice that a compass will come up whenever you rotate it. And that uh, is the rotate tool. 